So the exercise related to the properties of the wave, uh, we discussed last session, we discussed the first six questions. In question seven, the diagram shows a side view of a water wave at a particular time. The diagram is drawn full scale. So this is a full scale uh, drawing for a water wave. Which statement about the wave is correct? So when we check, first two statements are totally wrong. Why the first two statements are wrong? Because water wave is a transverse wave. It cannot be longitudinal. So statement A and B are incorrect. When we check, when, when we check C and D, the water wave, when statement C we check, the water wave is transverse and frequency can be measured. Frequency can only be measured if you know the time. But here the time interval is not given. If the time interval is not given, we cannot measure the frequency. Like we should know the time to measure the frequency, like there should be a time scale. So what the wave is a transverse and the wavelength can be measured because what we can do, we can place a ruler or the scale and we can measure the distance between the two successive wave front uh, or two successive crest or two successive troughs will get the wavelength. That's why D is the right answer. So to measure the frequency, there must be a time interval. In question 8, the diagram shows a water wave approaching a barrier with a gap. The wave reaches a point P, as you can see. What is the name effect caused the wave to reach point P? Like how the wave will reach point P? It is diffraction, dispersion we did not discuss. So it cannot be B. You're left with diffraction, reflection. So that's true. Diffraction, because when the wave passes through the gap, the wave spread out and we call that as diffraction. The diagram shows four waves which are drawn to scale. Drawn to scale means like according to the scale they are drawn, like their size comparison is there. Which statement, the numbers are, they did not write the number but they give you the marking. So which statement, which statement is correct? So like when we check the amplitude of P, its amplitude is one because one marking is there. And what about the wavelength? One, two, three, four marks because one, two, three, and four. What about amplitude of A? It is two marks and wavelength is one, two, three, four. What about amplitude of R? It is one mark. And what about the wavelength? That is two marks like two points. Amplitude of S, that's two marks, and the wavelength, that is two marks. So which statement is correct? The amplitude of a P is same as amplitude of R. So P amplitude is one, R amplitude is also one. So they both have the same amplitude, that's why A is the right answer. Is it clear this question that amplitude refers to height of the wave because they have the same height that's why their amplitude is same. Which waves are longitudinal? The longitudinal sound wave, light waves cannot be longitudinal. Micro can, are transverse, water waves are transverse. So the only one which is longitudinal is sound. 11, which row is an example of a transverse wave and example of longitudinal? So longitude, you just find out the longitudinal because the sound is a longitudinal. So we relative radio will be transverse. That's why B is the right hand. There are two waves which are longitudinal. Number one, the sound and number two, wave in a compressor spring. Other than that, all are transverse waves. A boy threw a, a small stone into a pond. The wave spread out from us where the stone hits the water. The boy noticed eight waves in five seconds. What is the frequency? What 
frequency means number of waves per second every second so there are eight waves you can do in terms of you can use a formula that frequency is equals to number of vibration or number of waves divided by time or you can also use the ratio so there are total eight waves are there in so there are total eight waves in five seconds so how many waves in one second that is the frequency so it will be eight divided by five which is equals to 1.6 hertz you can also use a ratio between the wave and the time we have eight waves in five seconds frequency means how many waves in one second so in one second how many waves will be there x cross multiply so it will be 5x is equals to 8 or x is equals to 8 divided by 5 again you will get 1.6 so frequency simply is the number of waves every second which are produced. The diagram shows a plane wave front, which line, uh, diagram shows a plane waves reflected, which line represent the wave front. So what A is representing, A is representing the direction of the wave. What B is representing, B is representing the wavelength. The distance between the two wave fronts is also known as wavelength. What C is representing, C is representing a wave front. And what D is representing, D is representing a reflecting surface. So A is representing the direction of the wave, B is representing the wavelength, C is representing B is representing the wavelength, C is representing the wave front, and D is representing the reflecting surface. Another question, a swimmer is sitting on a rock at a seashore and looking at passing waves. He noticed that five complete wavelengths or five waves pass in 20 seconds. What is the frequency? The so frequency is number of wave divided by time. The number of waves are 5 divided by time is 20. So it is 1 by 4. 1 by 4 is equals to 0 0.25. So that's why A is the right answer. So what is the number of what is the number of the wave front per second? So number of wave front per second or number of waves per second, what we call we call that as a frequency because frequency is how many waves are passing in one second or how many wave fronts are there in one second. Look the concept, the difference between the wave and the wave front, like when I draw like this, this is a wave. But when there are so many waves and we join the identical points of the wave, like we join all the crest, I, I join this crest by a line, then another crest by a line, then another crest by a line, then another set of crest by a line. So when we join the identical points, what we call these lines, these lines are known as wave fronts. So wave front or phase of the wave, we can also say. So instead of drawing the waves, it is convenient or it is like here, what they did, they did not draw the waves. What they did, they drew a wave front. What is the meaning of wave front? Like example, if this was crest, then crest, crest, and there's another wave, crest was there.
So instead of drawing the waves, what they did, they represent, they join the identical point of the wave by a line, like they join all the crest, then another set of crest, then another set of crest, another set, and another. So when they join the identical point, what they call, they call that as wave front. So the diagram represents the water wave in a tank. Which diagram represents the change in speed? Change in speed means refraction. Which one is representing refraction? A is representing diffraction through gap um, edge. This is edge. This is also a diffraction. What about C? The direction of the wavefront has changed when this is called reflection. And D, what we call, we call that as refraction. So the waves, then they change the speed. Here, they spread out. The waves spread out as it passes through the gap. Here also the waves spread out. Here the wave is changing the direction after striking the surface. So it changes the direction and here what happened? It changes the direction as well as changes the speed. Question 17, a small boat in a harbor is protected from waves on a sea harbor by a wall. Some waves can curve around the harbor, harbor to reach the boat. Like example, there's a harbor, like a small barrier or a harbor is there and the water waves are able to curve around when they're passing through this harbor or a barrier, they're able to pass through. What we call this? Diffraction, disper dispersion, you did not study, so it cannot be an answer. You're left with A, C, and D. What could be the answer when what we call the curving effect or the spreading of the wave when it passes through the gap? So reflection is when it changes the direction. Refraction when changes is reflection means it changes the direction. Refraction means it changes the speed and diffraction means it spread when it passes through a gap. Then the diagram represented represents a wave. How many wavelengths are there from X to Y? So when we check from this point to this point, this is one wavelength, the horizontal. And from the one crest to half, so this is one wavelength, this is half wavelength. So one plus half, it will be 1.5 or one whole number, one by two wavelengths are there. Because wavelength is a distance between two successive crest or two successive troughs. So there is uh, two crest and one, like two troughs are there, but half of it is used. If there was a wave till this point, like if the Y was till this point, if this was a y, then it will be wavelength plus wavelength, it will be two wavelength. But it is not two wavelength, it is half here and one here, so it will be one whole number, one by two or 1.5 wavelengths. What is the unit of the wavelength? So what is the unit of wavelength? Hertz is a unit for frequency. Meter is a unit for wavelength and amplitude. Meter per second is a unit for speed. And second is a unit for time period or time. So B was a right answer. The diagram shows a wave passing through a gap in a harbor. The diagram shows a wave, water waves passing through a gap in a harbor. The wave curve around, curve around and reaches a small boat. What is the name given to this curving effect? So this curving effect is diffraction. And how can a gap be changed so that waves are less likely to reach? So if you don't want the wave to reach, what we want to do, we want to reduce the diffraction.
So if we want to reduce the diffraction, what we should do to the gap, the gap size must be increased. Because when we increase the gap size, the diffraction will be small diffraction occur. If gap size is smaller, so the thing which we should do, we should increase the gap size. So make the gap slightly bigger so that the diffraction will be minimized. Otherwise, if the gap size is smaller, then the diffraction will be greater. Now some structure questions related to a topic, the structure questions. Figure 6.2 shows a water wave which is crossing a boundary. As you can see, original in a shallow region, it was moving slower in a deep, it is traveling faster. Name the process that take place around a boundary of a deep and shallow. So what we call when it changes the speed, we call that as refraction. So this is basically a refraction of the wave. Take one box corresponding to the property of a wave that remains same. The property which remains same is a frequency. Frequency does not change. Speed changes, wavelength change, the size or amplitude also changes, but the frequency remain unchanged. A loudspeaker produces a sound wave. What is meant by a frequency? The definition of frequency it is number of waves per second. Or number of vibration per second or number of wave produced every second. Then what is meant by compression? How we define the term compression? Compression means the region in a longitudinal wave there where the pressure is high. Compression in longitudinal compression and rare function in longitudinal wave, whereas uh, in a transverse wave we have crest and trough. So region in longitudinal wave where the pressure is high or the particles are close to each other, we call that as compression. The width of a gap is smaller than the wavelength. On a figure, draw a pattern as the sound wave passes. So because if the gap if, if a gap is equal or the gap size is smaller then we'll observe more diffraction so what we have to do we we have to draw a curve around it and one thing in exam you have to keep in mind like if this this is was 2 cm example then this should also be the distance between the curve wave front should also be 2 cm it should not change as when the diffraction occur it's moving in a same medium. That's why the wavelength will not change. The barrier is adjusted so that the gap become wider. Describe how this affects the pattern of compression and refraction. So if the gap is wider, the diffraction will reduce or decrease. Then in part C, the frequency of a wave is 6800 hertz and the speed is 340. Calculate the wavelength. So how to calculate the wavelength? We have the formula speed is frequency multiplied by wavelength. So speed is 340, frequency is 6800 and wavelength we don't know. So 340 divided by 6800 will get the wavelength. So 340 divided by 340 divided by 6800, the wavelength will be 0 0.05 meter. The last part, typical speed of uh, sound in liquid, uh, that is 1500, but you will learn in sound topic, so you don't have to bother about this question right now. So these are some questions related to topic properties of the wave. 